Hello, how are you guys today? When we talk about the general consensus, conventional wisdom, you know, pertaining to any sort of health issue, nutrition is usually overlooked in favor of going to a doctor and taking medication or whatever. Let alone isolating specific nutrients. You know, people try all sorts of crazy diets, do all sorts of cleanses and crazy regimens instead of taking it down to the basics, you know, what vitamins and minerals does our body need? And out of those vitamins, the B vitamins are generally the most overlooked. Even the average person is taking multivitamins, vitamin D3, vitamin C, but actual specific B vitamins are almost never spoken about. And this is really significant because out of all of the macronutrients, proteins, carbs, and fats, Proteins are the hardest to digest, and they contain most of the B vitamins in our diet, which we then are not absorbing. You know, the gut bacteria can break down carbs, the body is very efficient at breaking down fats, but especially when you have compromised digestive function, protein goes largely undigested most of the time. Therefore, I would say uh, the majority of the population has B vitamin deficiencies, probably out of any vitamin, it's 100% certain. Now the demand for these water-soluble vitamins, B and C, are much higher on a more consistent basis than fat-soluble vitamins especially. And depending on body stores, you could go months to years without vitamins A or D and never really have any symptoms. But B vitamin deficiencies manifest themselves very quickly with noticeable health issues. And when you look up all sorts of different studies pertaining diseases and B vitamins, those people with chronic diseases have specific B vitamin deficiencies. And if you guys want an overview of B vitamin functions, we did do a past video. Uh, this is gonna be focused more on gut health. So I found an excellent study, B vitamins and their roles in gut health. And the main thing we're trying to figure out today is which B vitamins are going to be more depleted in the average diet in the context of someone with digestive issues or various diseases even when you're eating a ton of high quality animal foods that are allegedly rich in b vitamins and people do this all the time guys i would not have started a supplement company if i thought you could get all of your nutrition from food i have a meat business if i didn't think i needed this stuff i wouldn't be doing it yeah in a healthy person you should be able to absorb most of your B vitamins from food sources. And there are many types of bacteria in our stomach that produce some B vitamins. However, with the impaired digestion and gut imbalances that most people have, it's almost not possible to be naturally healthy. Now there's gonna be a lot of similarities between these B vitamins in a sense that they're required for breaking down macronutrients, which means you know in a high carb or high alcohol diet, you might deplete certain B vitamins, and most of them are produced by gut bacteria and have similar properties when healing the digestive system. Uh, starting with vitamin B1, thymine. So there are specific bacteria that produce specific B vitamins, and, and that goes for each of them, and it's also absorbed in the small intestine. Since the body needs so much vitamin B1, it gets depleted very quickly in the context of any sort of digestive issue. You're not absorbing B1 from your diet because the liver isn't producing enough enzymes to break down the protein, and you don't have the right strains of bacteria to produce the B1 because candida is overgrowing from liver toxicity or heavy metal toxicity, all of the toxins in your body. And out of all the B vitamins I've supplemented, I've read about this one the most, and people do see significant results, but uh, there's something to be said about the importance of all of them. Vitamin B2, riboflavin, same thing. Absorbed in the small intestine, produced by different types of gut bacteria. Difference is, it's a slightly higher demand in all of the macronutrients, carbohydrates, proteins, and fats. Deficiency has been linked to poor cellular intestinal function, whether it's development in prenatal stages or intestinal cell formation in adults. So. You know, if you have a B2 riboflavin deficiency, your intestines are not going to be functioning and absorbing food properly. And 
you know, a lot of these I've personally overlooked outside of a B complex. So I'm definitely going to be messing around with more of them over the next few weeks. And the main reason for that is because the supplements that I had access to were just dosed way too high. All of the average supplements on the market have dozens to hundreds of times of the amount of B vitamins that occur in food. So if I take a B2 supplement, I get all sorts of crazy symptoms from <laughs> B2 overdose and the liver's trying to process it all. Now that I have the smaller amounts on organ supplements, you know, equivalent to a day of eating steak, it's so much easier for me to just try each of these without any crazy side effects. So B3 niacin is mainly synthesized from amino acids. So again, with the protein digestion, it's pretty easy to see why this one might be specifically more deficient. And the study says that vitamin B3 aids in maintaining healthy intestinal homeostasis and reducing gut inflammation by participating in certain signaling pathways. And the two main things to my understanding are that it balances gut bacteria and it's needed for maintaining the cellular health. So when you're deficient in certain B vitamins, the gut will try to change the ratio of bacteria to the ones that produce the vitamins you're deficient in. But then obviously it's easy to get deficient in all the other stuff because now, you know, you have a B3 deficiency, your gut makes all the bacteria that produce B3, but then you don't have all the other ones. Low niacin levels were observed in Crohn's disease patients and vitamin B3 anemias promoted mucosal healing in patients with ulcerative colitis. And those are two very significant and important studies that were cited in this one that you know, give really direct and adamant evidence of the importance of specific B vitamins in overall gut healing. Vitamin B5 pantothenic acid, mostly known for being a precursor to coenzyme A, which is a universal cofactor in many different metabolic reactions, especially fatty acid metabolism. And again, as with all of these B vitamins, the study mentions that certain strains of bacteria produce B5 pantothenic acid and that the gut microbiome is influenced by increasing intake, which we can relay back to the body trying to balance your bacteria in order to synthesize what nutrients it needs. And uh, that being said, it's hard to say, you know, compared to the other vitamins, are people typically deficient in this? Most likely across the board. Then we have vitamin B6 pyridoxine. And to my understanding is the only B vitamin which has several like Facebook toxicity groups relating to nerve damage. But that's probably because those modern supplements have unnaturally high doses. There are studies showing that IBS, irritable bowel syndrome, is related to low B6 intake, but that also generally means that the diet is probably low in overall B vitamins because the B vitamins are synergistic in their occurrence in food for the most part, with like the exception of B9 folate. Another study showed that B6 can reduce inflammation in the small intestine. A different study showed B6 deficiency reduces the amount of mucosal cells which are critical for maintaining gut health. So as with B5, it's important for overall gut health, but because of the high dosage of modern supplements, you have this kind of like weird thing where people are either toxic and getting nerve damage symptoms when they address it, or they're super deficient and having the regular gut issues that most people experience. So vitamin B7 biotin is needed for several biochemical reactions. Again, guys, we did the video a year or two ago on the B vitamin functions, if, if you wanna learn about that stuff. Significant one pertaining to digestion is that it's needed for glycolysis, glucose metabolism, so it's safe to say that if you have a lot of carbohydrates, B7 biotin might get depleted. And that main thing we've learned today, you know, the gut changing its bacterial profile depending on which B vitamins it's deficient in. One study on biotin claims that this gut imbalance from the overgrowth of biotin-producing bacteria can cause alopecia and skin conditions. Uh, so we can imagine, depending on what the imbalance is, we'll see different symptoms, different diseases, but there's so many things that can go wrong, it's hard to pinpoint. You know, uh, each of these separate B vitamins 
a deficiency of them might manifest itself in different ways depending on the rest of the person's nutritional and health status. And this is something I'll supplement on occasionally, but uh, probiotics, water kefir, sauerkraut juice, are known for having uh, B7 biotin in them. Then we have vitamin B9 folate, which is crucial for cell health, regenerating the lining of the intestine. Every living cell in the body actually needs folate. And deficiency is typical because the types of bacteria that produce folate are very, very low in fungal infections and candida overgrowth. Um, actually, dairy, lactobacillus, yogurt, probiotics are excellent, excellent, excellent for increasing your folate. Seems to be the hardest B vitamin for the body to produce, and it's also not that high in meat. So probably explains why I do notice a big difference when I supplement methylfolate. I don't take it as often as some of the other B vitamins, but at least a few times a month. We're getting close, guys. One more B12 cobalamin. Very important for protein and fat digestion. And almost all of our gut bacteria, over 80%, actually requires B12 to perform their metabolic functions. Deficiency has similar effects on the gut as B9, lower intestinal cell function, less mucus, but I guess that could almost be said about any B vitamin deficiency. You know, the intestines are not gonna function as properly. And in this study, B vitamins and their roles in gut health, there is a cool little diagram that kind of has just all of the B vitamins compiled, what gut bacteria produce them, as well as what typical signs of deficiency are. So if you guys want to learn more about this, amazing, amazing, amazing study. I would say one of the most important studies I've ever come across in the context of nutrition in general. I mean, overall, it's pretty simple. The digestive system, especially intestinal lining, requires all of the B vitamins to maintain proper cell health and function. Hey, who knew we needed enough vitamins to be healthy? So in order to absorb and digest nutrients from food properly to be naturally healthy, you need to fix these deficiencies. The entire gut microbiome is shifting based on your B vitamin deficiencies. And I don't see how fat soluble vitamins or minerals have similar properties and effects as those cannot be produced through fermentation or metabolic pathways. You, know, you can't make a mineral out of nothing. You can't form a metal out of something that isn't there. But the bacteria in your stomach can synthesize B vitamins from carbs, fats, proteins, macronutrients. So you know, these play a much larger role and should be, if anything, the primary focus over anything else if you're looking to fix your health. You know, I, I talk about probiotics a lot, and that's definitely at the top of the list. But when we get to vitamins, uh, especially, then B vitamins are definitely at the top. Uh, minerals are also very, very important, but those are a little bit easier to figure out. So thank you guys for joining me. Hopefully uh, this helps you out, especially you guys that are suffering from any sort of gut issues and can't fix your issue. Probably need to take one of these. And you know, there's a lot of disinfo, misinformation that's just kind of distracting people from getting the whole picture and just taking you know, a balanced B complex the natural one we have on organsupplements.com. That's the easiest way to tackle this. Then after you start feeling better, you can start isolating specific ones and try to figure out which ones make you feel the best. So as we've said several times, guys, organsupplements.com, uh, we just added a B vitamin package. So you can get every single one of these isolated at a discount, but we also have the natural B complex separately where you can't get anywhere else online because None of these companies are making B vitamin supplements with natural dosages. Hey, at least for now, until someone makes $30 million stealing my idea and censoring me, as they always do. But there's also frank guys, where you can check out all of my other businesses, high-quality animal-based products, and you know, search the YouTube channel for B vitamin videos if you guys would like to learn more. As always, guys, please drop a like on the video, leave a comment down below, make sure to subscribe and check that notification bell, and we will see you guys soon.